two days later, we got pulled over in Kingsport, Tennessee. Um, it was a new driver. Um, they had to switch drivers. We got pulled over. The the police came on the bus, and um, we all went to jail. What? Mm. I went to jail. I went to jail with Baby. Baby went to jail, too? Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to talk to you about cash money. I'm a mm -hmm. big time uh, tech. South, the South thing. Uh, how did you end up even signing the cash money? Let's talk about it. So, I told y'all I used to go to the clubs mm -hmm. all the time when I was younger. Baby um, ended up hosting candy shop. Big Steve, and, remember Big Steve and yeah, Captain yeah, Jack? Yeah, they used yeah. to do candy shop and connections. He ended up hosting that one day, and I went. And um, me and my girls, we was just at the club, and he sent one of his security guards to come and say uh, hey to me or whatever and tell me to come to his section. Okay. I went back there to his section. We was talking. We was vibing. And um, we exchanged numbers. Um, once we exchanged numbers, the next morning he called me. He was like, hey, I'm about to go out of town. I got some... Uh, I got some tour dates coming up. Do you want to go with me? And so I asked my mom. I was like, Mama, um, baby just... And she was like, Birdman? I said, yeah. She said, what she I was say? Like, I was like, you know, I said... She, you think it's okay for me to like go with him to you know go out of town? She was like, "Yeah, shit, he got more to lose than you do." Like, I was like, "He do." Like, I was like, "Fuck it." And so I went. And so you went. Yeah, I went. And so um, I ended up going. I was on. I was on uh, the tour bus with him. It was fifteen guys, and I was the only girl. Fourteen. Wow. I was the only girl. Were you but scared? Was, I was a little bit. You know, I was a little timid because I didn't know the people, and I was right. new. And you know, I'm the only female, so you know, around a bunch of men. But they was all so like big brothers. That's they was good. all sweet. They was all uh, polite. They was gentlemen. They all like looked out for me everywhere we go. We stopped. Like I had a whole security entourage of people with me. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, two days later, we got pulled over in Kingsport, Tennessee. Um, it was a new driver. Um, they had to switch drivers. We got pulled over. The the police came on the bus. And um, we all went to jail. What? Mm. I went to jail. I went to jail with Baby. Baby went to jail too? Yeah. What year was this? 2009 or 10. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it had to be 2009. What for? Some weed. And it That's was, it? it? Yeah, it was weed. It was probably like an ounce of weed or something. They charged all of us with an ounce of weed. All 15 of us went to jail. That's and so simple. if you Google it, you'll see that it said Baby and his 18-year-old um, wife. I was 18 years old at the time. It was all over the blogs. Wow. All over the blogs. <laughs> it was all over the blogs. It was all over. 18 year old wife. wife. Yeah. That's they said. And what's crazy is the only reason why um, I ended up getting in a car with him because, so it's like two people to each car, right? So when they was counting two, 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 by the time he got to me, I would have gotten in a car with somebody else, with another guy. So he was like, no, I want to get in a car with my wife, like to like tell the police officer, like, no, put me in a car with her. And so I guess the police officers. You know, once they made the report, they said that his and, wife, yeah, eighteen-year-old wife, yeah. So that's how that ended up going crazy like that. And um, after that happened, and, and what's so good? What was good about it? We actually got out the same night because one of Baby's fans heard about it in Kingsport, um, Tennessee, and he came and bonded a white guy. Wow! Shout out to him. He came and bonded all fifteen of us out. Just a random person. Wow! Yes, that is crazy. Wow, wow that's that's powerful. So. Okay, we move a little bit further into it. Do you what do what do you do with cash money? Do you drop uh, any music? So after with that them? happened, we going back and forth to court um, for about two years straight. Actually, dang, take that long. Mm -hmm. It took about um, okay. So when that happened, we got out of jail. We got back on the road, still torn. Um, shit, Drake had just came out. Um, I mean, Baby just had me on all the stages. Wherever. I remember going to one Drake concert. This is when he first came out, and the crowd was never ending. I never seen, I never been to a concert. Yeah, so, um, um, so after we, you know, we got out of jail, we were still um, on tour or whatever. We had to go to the next dates, go to the next city um, or whatever. And Baby just had me on every stage. That's when Drake first came out, and I remember going to one of Drake's shows. And the crowd was just never ending. I never went to a, it was like in a big old like field. All I seen was grass, but people was just standing on grass and I couldn't see the ending. And that's wow. how I knew he was star. He was a star. This was back in 2009, I think. Um, he just had me everywhere. I was real protected. Everything was good. So I told him like, I didn't just want to meet him and say like, oh, I'm an artist and this and that because I'm sure like, you know, 
it wasn't that wasn't what we built our connection on like you know he had an interest in, in me he liked me or whatever but i wanted to like build a relationship with him first before i just started telling him about my music so when i first you know met him i told him I was like yeah you know i sing or whatever but at this point i didn't have a song out or whatever oh, so i okay. had to go you know do my work so um i left him for a little bit um after i got off tour with them i left and then i um i was uh what was that song uh was it Sean Garrett and Nicki Minaj did? Um, she had the pink hair and all the soldiers. And yeah, it, I, out in the um, I don't know. Exactly it was in. Uh, it was I in. Know, I remember. It, I'm thinking about yeah, the video. I was on set, yeah, on the video, I was on set. I was on set. We went there. I was there when she uh, shot that video. He just had me everywhere. I was did like, you talk to Nicki? No, I did. She was on set. Oh yeah, so they on. Yeah, so we was just in the tour bus, and I was like, you know, watching from inside the tour bus. You know, I get off and look around, but I wasn't trying to be in the way. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that wasn't what I was there for. Um, but anyway, so I ended up meeting this guy. Um, his name was Simo. And um, at this point, I was still dancing. I was a dancer still. Okay. Um, I, I met this guy at the gas station. Me and my homegirls went end up going to the beauty supply. And I was laying down in the bed, and I didn't really want to go. And they was like, Brittany, come on, come with us to the beauty supply. We're just riding up the street. And I'm like, whatever, okay. So I was like, if I go, I'm going to sit in the car. I'm not getting out. So I sat in the car. They went inside the store, so this guy, he was selling his CDs outside or whatever. And he was like, hey, um, you know, I'm a, uh, he knocking on the window. I'm already agitated because I didn't feel like coming to the, to the, uh, to the store. And he was like, um, hey, my name is Simo. Um, I'm an I'm a, uh, R&B singer or whatever. Can you, you know, buy one of my CDs? And I was like, okay, well, yeah, I, you know, I'll support you. I'll buy one of your CDs. So I ended up putting the CD in, and the first song I heard, I loved it. I'm like, okay, you talented. You know, at this point now, I woke up. And so me and him started talking and I was like yeah you know I know how to sing too you know I really want to take my artistry you know serious I just don't know where to start whatever whatever so he was like well huh call my number on the back of the CD let's meet at a Starbucks let's talk about it I met him at a Starbucks we instantly went to the studio within the next few days we came up with my first song um that got me signed to cash money call me for the good wow call me for the good call me for the good if you want it you can get it call me call me for mm -hmm. that's how call me for the good uh came out and it actually came from another song so it came from another song and we took that little part out of the song and made it into a hook and then made it into a whole song so it wasn't even like we just came up with that song oh, wow. like it mm -hmm. came from a whole another record that we had did because at this point we was just building trying to see you know mm -hmm. what my lane mm -hmm. was what, we, what i was going to talk about and so um the go djs uh i end up sending my music to the go djs high c and all of them they start playing my song in the clubs then my song started getting on the radio so then when i end up Getting back with Baby again, I was like, yeah, I got a, a number one song on the radio right now. Like, it's um, it's beating um at this point um, what's the song? Lil Wayne uh, when he had all the cash money, young money, cash. He had all the people mm -hmm. on the song. Um, that was bed on the bus. Yes, Bad Rock. That was Bad Rock was number two. My song was number one. Whoa, whoa. On ninety seven nine box in Houston. Yes, like I had the number one song in the city. At this time, I'm like, I'm beating out Bad Rock right now. My song is the number one song, whatever. So at that point, he like, okay, she was for real about what she said. <laughs> and so um, he ended up sending me a contract. I sent it to my lawyer. My lawyer was like, this is one of the best uh, deals I've ever, ever seen. Wow. Yes. Um, I ended up signing the deal, ended up signing to him. Um, he moved me to Miami, bought me a condo, furnished it out, everything. So when I end up moving to Miami, my the, the guy that I was working with, he was... He started making me feel like bad because he was like, you done got signed and now you're leaving us and this and that and da 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 Like he just started making me feel bad about all the decisions that I was making at this time. And I'm like, damn, I feel like this is my moment. But everybody like, Brittany, why are you leaving us? You know, and I started feeling like, well, damn, like I don't want nobody to feel like I'm leaving them. So and how old were you at this time? I was like 19. 19. Mm -hmm. So um, he bought me the condo. He, you know told me to pick out whatever furniture I wanted, whatever car I wanted, whatever I wanted, he told me to get it. I ended up doing all of that, and then um, I ended up moving right back to Houston. Mm. I didn't even stay in Miami. How long did you stay there? Probably like two months. You threw it all in the way. And went back home because You're crazy. Let people that get was in like, your head. I did, I did. I let them get in my head, and I let them, you know, make me feel like that I was leaving them. Did you regret it? I did. Wow. I did. You know that 
for some reason, <clears throat> I've, I've spoken to a lot of different managers, a lot of different artists and stuff like that. And I always hear people always say that's the thing that you have to always worry about with having a female artist is people getting it into their head. You don't hear that with male artists very much. Why is that so? I don't know, because, it, I mean, people feel like, you know, they made you, yeah. you know, he wrote the song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he feel like, well, shit, this is the song that got you on. Like, bitch, you supposed to, I supposed to be with you. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, men, men and men, it's always like this underlining competition. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if I'm with you or for you, like, I never ever left you nowhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is just something to help me catapult my career. If you want to come out here, you want to visit, it's a room you can stay in, like, whatever. You can always come, but it's just like, he wasn't looking at it like that. Um, and then, you know, we went through a tumultuous, you know, uh, type relationship because he ended up becoming my manager. And then he had me locked in a contract for like eight years, even what? after that. Yes. Like How, it was when you like, already was signing cash money? <laughs> As a manager. I was signed to him as a manager first. Manage. He was my manager first. The guy that I met. So he, he that's why me. you end up going back because he kept giving you hell. Yeah, he just kept giving me hell. He, and then I, I thought the, the the contract was for two years, but it was that small little part that I didn't read because he forced me to sign the contract. Like we got into a whole fight and everything at my house. Like it was really it got, yeah, it got real bad. It got toxic. It got toxic. Yes, and he, so he, I was just I felt like I had to sign it. So I end up signing it, and I was in a contract with him until like 2017, 18, what is about, maybe 14, 15, something How'd like that. How'd you get out of it? The contract just ended. It just it just ended, because I'm thinking like after Why I- Why would he make the contract so long? He was trying to tie me in, and he did. He, he, was trying to, he was trying to hold on to me forever. Even to this day, he still be on his Instagram. And he'd be like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, they, they didn't talk about me. They didn't say so many, you know, mean things you about me. Houston? And stuff. Yeah. Do you ever go back home? Yeah, I just was at, I was just home last month. Um, I was just home last month. I was booked the whole weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I had I had events the whole weekend. I was just home. Wow. How did how'd you, how'd you enjoy it? I loved it. Wow. I loved it. Everybody came out. I had a great time. Question that I had. So baby couldn't like buy you out of the contract or something like that to try to help you get out of that? I think I was really trying to like hide it from him because I think I, I told him about it. And he was, you know, he had my back 100 like, percent. Right. But I was trying to hide it from him because I didn't want him to feel like I was coming into this new situation with so much confusion. So I wasn't trying to like bring my old problems into a new relationship. So I kind of like didn't say as bad as it was. I kind of was like, make you know, saying like, well, what what you think if a person was in this position type thing, like talking about it in third party and not mm -hmm. really saying that it was me because I didn't want him to feel like I was bringing. At this time, he had Jason Derulo. He had, you know what I'm saying? He had all these big ass artists. You know, Tiger was just coming out. You know, like everybody. He got all these big artists that's doing their thing. Like I didn't want him to feel like I was coming with so much baggage to where it's like he didn't want to you know deal with you deal with you deal with me so um during that time i stayed in miami um he flew me and my whole family out and he told me whoever i wanted to fly i could fly we shot the video to call me for that good and the video just never came out i mean three months passed six months passed eight months passed At, what happened was when i signed to baby is when young money had first started like this was the first beginning of Young Money and Nicki Minaj mm -hmm. back in 2010. This is when they first um, started. So I think that being that Lil Wayne was signed to Baby, Baby had a female artist, Wayne had a female artist, of course, like, he gonna go with Wayne and his artist because of the seniority. Like, I'm not gonna break up a, re a relationship with somebody who I've already had all these years and it's been beneficial to just put somebody, new person out. So I feel like I was shelved. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.